this is my channel, Modern Science. I've given this name because I just tried to explain everything purely scientific basis. I think this may give you a lot of information about the Mansell theory and may help you to understand the universe in a scientific way. So please like my channel and subscribe for more and more, which will help me to make more videos about some more interesting topic. Today, my topic is illusion of time. Before going to the topic and starting my video, I want to say something about what I cre why I created this channel. That was a very tragic incident. When I was in class 3 and my channel exams were going on, at that night I was busy playing with my grandmother, whom I loved a lot. In between our game, she felt some chest pain. I immediately called my papa and my papa called the ambulance. After that, he took her to hospital. Just after 20 minutes, a phone call came from Papa to Mama that my grandmother is no more. People tell that time is very precious. One goes never back. But what time is? Is that 60 seconds a minute? 60 minutes an hour or the calendar what we measure the day that passes? Is it a dimension what I got from my searching in Google? Is it a measurement? If so, why it is going from past to present to future? What is the relationship between time and universe? Is it created? Will it one day end? Where it came from? Is it an illusion? As per science, time is an illusion. But what we experience time in day-to-day -day life? What is that? Are we not able to understand time properly? Let us see what we understand about time. Time we perceive as something which runs at a constant speed, respective of any matter or situation in this universe without slow stop or works. And the goes never back again. We only measure the time that is 60 seconds a minute, 60 minutes an hour, 24 hours a day, 30 days a month, and 365 days a year with 12 months. And we calculate everything in our day-to-day, -day, present, past, future with this calculation. But why 60 seconds a minute? Why not 100 seconds? Why 60 minutes an hour instead of 50 minutes or 5 minutes? And why 24 hours a day and 30 days a month instead of some other? To understand this, we have to go through a history of time. Telling that in 3500 BC, Egyptians were very advanced to try to measure the time or to measure the day and night. And they used the shadow for measurement of time and the first clock, which was the shadow clock invented, that is known as oblique. Let's see the shadow clocks. These are the lines that the ancient people used for measuring the time. In that clock, the shadow movement are divided the whole day as 10 units. Make with the 10 figure, they got the concept that they add so you one unit for sunrise and one unit for sunset. And the total total unit as 12 hours. And according to star movement, did they divide a night to total unit as 12 hours because they thought day and night are equal. And the first concept of measurement of time came. A day is 24 hours. After that, people made water clock, candle clock, and sand clock, etc. But in 1518, the great scientist Galileo absorbed the motion of pendulum and its time taken for this motion in forward and reverse. And the two seconds. But how 60 seconds a minute, 60 minutes an hour concept came? Maybe the Sumerians. They love 60 because 60 is a number which is divisible with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Finally, in 1656, Christian and Newton used the pendulum concept to make first pendulum clock. And in 17th century, the pocket clock. And in 1680, first time minute hand is used in clock. But what about calendar? The oldest calendar at 8000 BC was a lunar calendar, consists of 12 lunar months, which was based on moon's basis of monthly cycle. The first calendar was invented by watching the new moon to the next new moon and the movement of constellation and movement of 
again its position to the same counted and considered as one year. Then the 12 month concept, leap year concept, and the season by changing the environment according to date their name given. This all we given or we use according to our understanding of time. Again, according to the advance of science, time again divided into minute part, unit part, uh, such as one second, two thousand part, according to the vibration of hot particle crystal. And again, National Institute of Standard and Technology divided one second to much smaller part according to the vibration of the cesium atom. The cesium atom vibrates more than 9 billion times in a second. That is exactly 9 billion, 19 million since it's 31,770 times on basis of this, the first atomic clock invented. U.S. novel researched in laboratory in Washington, D.C. in which hydrogen atom used instead of cesium atom and it is accurate to one second in 1.7 million years. And the most advanced we use that is super cooled hydrogen master clock having an accuracy of one second in 300 million years. Mind blowing. But all this we call time or mechanical system we what we created and all this clock tells us what is time or the rate of time passing or the measurement. But can this clock tell what time is or what is it? No. Let us know how this perception may change just inside our solar system. Let's take an example of Mercury. It takes 88 Earth day to move around the sun. That means in Mercury, one year will be 88 days and due to its show, slow motion around its orbit. It takes 176 Earth days. So if we are in Mercury, one day will be 4,224 hours. Let's take another test of Jupiter. It's one day just approximate 10 Earth hour due to its high speed and axis rotation and 4332.59 Earth day in a slow speed and long distance covered around the sun. If we take an example of black hole in similar way, <laughs> no. Time is a vast chapter which cannot be covered in one video. So please watch part 2 where I have briefly described about Newton's law and Newton's understanding about time.